Hello, party people. Um, how you doing? Uh, no, we, uh, I haven't really been doing much here, but um, just picked up Valheim. I didn't just pick it up; I picked it up like four days ago. But um, yeah, I, I've been following this for a little while, uh, ever since it got showed off at the the PC gaming show of summer 2020. Um, and yeah, uh, it 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 seems pretty cool. Uh, I really was hoping to get into their um into their like beta or alpha or whatever, but um. Yeah, it didn't end up happening. I didn't end up winning a code, winning a key. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I think, you know, it's, it's probably even for the better, really, because uh, the last time I participated in a beta or alpha was back from blood, and uh, I wasn't able to submit any feedback because of the way their survey worked. Um, so, you know, you know it's, it's probably best that I should experience this in a, in a, new, in a newer state, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, you know, it's just got looting and crafting and exploring and building and crafting and looting and exploring and farming and exploring and bosses and I don't know. It's 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 like a Viking themed Norse Nordic mythology kind of a game. Um, you know, the, the, that sort of background and inspiration to it. Um, and yeah, no, so it's that sort of world, and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, is there anything we need to do in the settings? Well, yeah, no, I don't really know a whole lot about this game, but I'm excited to get into it. Select character, uh, new. I'll be creating some, some weirdo. Gotta make some sort of a freak to play as. Grind's a little, uh, having a little bit of a texture problem, I think. Or is that, is that how it's supposed to look? I don't I, that, might, that might be like a stylistic choice, I'm not sure. That would, that would make sense. That's, that's pretty popular nowadays. Hair. All right, let's not go braided. I don't really want, uh, uh, wait, it was long one. Nah, it's like too stuck down, you know? One side swept. Oh, uh, okay, um, well, I, I guess we'll go with long. Oof. Kind of looking like Arthas. Oh, nope. No, he isn't. Uh, yeah, let's have a fun beard. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, that's awesome. Skin tone? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. So bright and shiny. <laughs> I've got to stick with that. That's hilarious. Hair tone. Ah, uh, it's, yeah, the classic full blonde, you know, uh, blondness, oh. Well, let's put a little lower. It's kind of, it's kind of my hair color, roughly, I would say. Not that I'm necessarily trying to make me. Alright, enter name. Uh, I will just, uh, I don't know. How about winter? No, that's stupid. Uh, what about, um... Abe Lincoln. No, no, that's that's been used. Um, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll just go with Ash. Let's just stick with the uh, the classics. Oh, there he is. All right. Uh, start. Enter enter the world name. Okay. Uh, I'll just call it Winterburn. That's like my uh, fictional town. So I might as well. I'll just do this as Winterburn as well for the seed. Why not? It's cool that there's like built-in server hosting now. You don't have to like, you know, pay like 20 bucks a month to some third party or whatever. <clears throat> that has always bothered me about some games like Ark. Uh, basically made unplayable by the way that servers work for that. You know, and it's it's not like you can play on LAN, really. I mean, you can play on LAN, but then it's like, oh yeah, you gotta stay within 10 feet of each other or else the game will crash. You're, you're tethered to the host, and whoever's the host can actually play the game, kind of. Like, it, it sucked. It was awful. Fun game, though. It's just it's so bogged down by the actual formatting of the game itself. It's sort of the same problem that, you know, like, Rust has. That's why that game was dying off, but I don't know. I've seen some sort of a surge in popularity lately for some reason. Probably mostly just because a couple streamers were like, Hey, I feel like playing Rust. That's how it tends to go. All right, what do we got here? Long ago, the All-Father Odin united the worlds. 
He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the boss, the, the boffs, bows, that held, that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of the sight of the gods. Uh, when Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to the Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the grazed of their warriors into the world that we were again in Valheim. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that was very much, um, very much like uh, uh, the opening of a Star Wars movie where you just kind of got a race to read. That's a big fucking bird. That's a Valkyrie? Oh, wow. Okay, I gotta, like, fuck with some settings. This looks whack. Oh, God, there's motion blur. There's intense motion blur. Uh, oh, God, how do we... Okay, there we go. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, vegetation quality. Let's turn that down, just in case. I'm not getting great frames. Yeah, keep in mind, this is an early access. So, you know, it, it, uh, the performance isn't going to be, like, optimal. Do I have to, like, forcibly drop myself? I don't know, she's probably going to, like, put me down here. Okay. I bring tidings. All right, Huggin, Hugin, 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 Hugin. I am human, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. All right. Uh, shiny rock. Register location. Aether is up there, okay. These magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as signposts pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Aether, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to, depro you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll... Uh, what do I... I, you, a lot of survival games nowadays are like, oh, you gotta subvert, but you can't punch a tree, you gotta, like, uh, punch sticks instead. Which seems to be what they go for here. Nothing wrong with that, of course. I'm not, I'm not, like, not trashing that as an idea. I'm just trying to figure out what to do here, that's all. Pretty. So this is, uh, oh, we're on, like, the tenth realm. The tenth world of of the uh, Yggdrasil here. Ooh, I would love if Ratatoskar was in this. Uh, I'm a big fan of squirrels. Oh man, if Ratatoskar is in this, oh, it's all like an instant A plus. Ah, it feels pretty smooth. It's a good feeling game. You know, sound design, everything's good. I like this background music a lot too. It's re it's relaxing, but like still, you know, fun. Uh, Fantasy is what? Who is this? Grayling? That's just Danny DeVito in like a funny costume. He's just got like a funny turtle shell on. What is this? He's got like yellow glowing eyes. Um. Okay. A pretty easy little kill there. What did he drop? A resin. Ew. Alright. This is cool. I, I dig this. Running out of stamina here. Gotta slow down. Gotta pace ourselves. But then we shall continue forth and collect more of uh, like the, the wood. Yes, wood. Uh, I don't know that I suppose I, suppose I can like punch stones, can I? Oh. Uh, alright. Guess I can. Hey, put up your dukes. Put up, uh, put up your dukes. Come on, let's, let's fight like real men. I'm doing nothing to this rock. I don't think I can actually. I did say I was gaining skill when I punched it before, though. Yeah, okay, so I can, um... Still get skill even if it doesn't actually do anything for me. Oh, 
to improve my running. Also consume stamina. So that'd probably be, you know, a good idea. Trophy hook, attach item. Long ages past, he wore a crown. Beneath a blood-red sky, now naught is left of all he was, but his spirit cannot die. Alright. That's a little dramatic, don't you think? That's cool, though. Um, okay, so we got, like, uh, different stones for, I would assume, boss. Oh, there's, like, a big alien. That's, that's, that's 100% an alien. That's just, like, an alien, dude. I actually, I, that's pretty cool, though. I like this, this, like, format. This is pretty, this is pretty cool. Doing a good job of setting up the, uh, the rest. Uh, what button is it going to be for the infant? Oh, auto walk? Auto walk, but only in the one direction. You can't, like, face around to change which way you're going. All right, well, still nice to have that feature. I always appreciate a nice auto run mechanic. Oh, dandelion. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't... How do I access the inventory? Or anything of that sort? Uh, I can kick? Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't know what the... Heck? Oh! I can sit down. Have a little, have a little rest. That's good. I like this. I'm liking this so far. Um, tab. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I didn't check tab sooner. <laughs> All right, uh, let's make a club. It's a weapon. Okay, got ourselves a club. So one. That's got us a torch. Two. It's got us a club. Oh, we can have both. Very cool. Okay. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. I, I don't know how I'm going to get stone, though. Uh, the, like, smaller stones I can pick up or something? I can do a little rockets in front of them. I mean, that's going to help anybody. That's just going to make me look like some sort, of, some sort of crazy person, some sort of freak. I ain't no freak. Uh, uh, there's a boar. Uh, is that a boar? Yeah, it's a boar. Holy shit, he fucking exploded. <laughs> Raw meat, okay. So that's, we got ourselves some food. Well met. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again. So try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to beat these up. Just pick them up. This reminded me a bit of Force of Nature. A little, a little, little game I've uh, streamed a couple of times. It's very fun. Uh, go check that out if you uh, like this sort of a uh, you know. Running around, building, you know, you know, hunting, surviving type stuff. This is a fun little game. This goes for about a dollar or two, so. This game looks pretty cool too so far. I'm definitely vibing with this world here. Oh, stone, yes! New crafting recipe, stone axe and a hammer. Okay. That seems like a, a good milestone. Gotta get more stones though. Oh, hey. All creatures. Yeah! Oh, oh! Bad guy. Alright. I've saved the deer. It's got uh, resin. I got resin. Woohoo! Woohoo! I've got resin! Woohoo! Of the goblin. 
Alright. He has since exploded into Breath of the Wild dust. Hey, no, no, it's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I mean, I, I, I am supposed to be gathering food, but... Uh, uh, I don't really want to hurt the deer. They're nice and pretty. The boar, on the other hand, did attack me. So that one, I can, I can, I can pretty easily justify that. Oh, no, I was trying to collect something from this berry. Oh, oh, there's mushrooms here. Shrooms. Fungus. I'm not, I'm not doing toad. I can't do toad. That's a bad idea. I shouldn't do toad. Alrighty, then. Let's see what we got here. Race rag tunic. Uh, crafting. I gotta make a stone axe. Get, gotta get a bit more serious about collecting uh, wood, you know? Uh, let's start with this one. I thought the colon and the one was supposed to be like a little emoticon, you know? Oh, it was supposed to be like a little face. Sort of like, you know, un unimpressed by my tree cutting abilities. Oh. <laughs> Look at the way that fell. Jesus. Oh, Christ, it took down another tree. <laughs> oh. Here is the, the fruits of our labor. Oh, you can just walk over it. That's nice. I want to clear the stumps, of course. You know? I don't want to be the one guy in Minecraft that always leaves his stumps lying around, you know? Or in a real life, I suppose. I think people would probably not like that much in real life. I don't know, I, I think stumps, they sort of have like a cool look to them a lot of the time. You know, you get that weird like fungus starts coming out of them and everything. Sometimes a little bird will make it its nest. I don't know. Then again, I guess some people probably see it as like a, a symbol of deforestation. I don't know. I mean, I guess a, a lot of stumps next to each other would probably look kind of kind of nasty. But, eh, I don't know. Oh, uh, tab. What do we got here? Make a hammer. Okay. New build piece. Hail, warrior. With this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. All right. Sorry, I was in a, I was having a bit of a sip of tea here. Tab. Um, I'm gonna make a workbench. Uh, four. Oh. Uh, build menu. It's a crafting workbench. Uh, rotate with that. Okay. Lack of soul. Uh, let's place it over here. A little bit into the, into the shade of the trees. Perfect. That's a pretty good deal to me. How do I, uh... Okay, just put the hammer away. The workbench allows you to craft complex items, as well as giving you access to lots of more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Crafting station needs a roof. Put this inside. Alright. Uh... Uh, building. Wood floor. I always like building in games. It's always, it's always fun for me. So it has to be like within range. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I shouldn't have done this where I did it. Can I move that? Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright, was not expecting that to work that way, but... Alright, let me put this like... A little off to the side. but not too much. Uh, then let's grab our axe, cut down another tree, because we need more wood. Can I hold this down? I can't. Okay. Just making sure. Gotta get a grip of the controls, you know? Really suck if it fell right onto my crafting station. It just destroyed the thing, you know? That would be a, a, a damn shame. No. 
Hey, yo, uh, uh, dude. Yeah. That's what I thought, punk. Another dandelion. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got myself another flower. <laughs> another exploding boar. I have to, uh, I have to apologize in advance for any, uh, I uh, and in uh, retrospect for any mispronunciations. I am uh, by no means the most cultured guy. I'm more of a. I, I love Greek myth. I'm really uh, into Greek myth, but you know, I, I do really like the Norse myths as well. I think their um, their culture was very interesting. Um, I just haven't really ever gotten around to reading about them quite as much. Uh, a little bit, you know, back in the day, but uh, not in a long time at this point. Hey, maybe, uh, maybe I should uh, get back into that, huh? That'd probably be fun. Plus, hey, any excuse to pick up a book. I, I, I know I don't do that nearly enough at all. I can't cut stones with this, can I? Okay, yeah, that would be kind of weird. Skill improved. Axes. Three. Uh, yes, it needs a roof. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, hey, you can, uh... Oh, nice. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. On, on. What? Oh, I, I, I like phased out of existence because I got too close. <laughs> All right, um, a goofing. Oh, it's gonna be night soon, and the, the, the zombies and the skeletons. Oh, let's <laughs> so put some floors down, huh? Should I be putting floors down first? Well, uh, should I be putting down like, uh, like these poles, and then like put the floors on, 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 like on that? Is that, is that the play? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm sorry to say I am simply clueless. I don't... Okay, if I put the floor down, I can then... Uh, oh god, I don't know how to do this, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah good house. I'm gonna be so comfortable. Look at how comfortable I am in my new house. <laughs> oh, this is awful. Oh, I've made a, I've made a terrible home. Um, oh, I know what it's missing. Stairs. Oh, yes. Click together. Like a, like a Lego set. Yes. Oh, hell. <laughs> I'm doing very well so far. Hold on, if I just, like, line this up perfectly... Oh, damn it, that didn't even work. <laughs> that didn't even work. Oh, oh dear. Well, what if I, uh, oh, what if I did it from this side instead? Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Can I do another? Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Got the, the beginning of a great house. Uh, it's, I think it is actually becoming night pretty quickly. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be monsters or, or, or like, if there's extra threats at night at all. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep working on this, on this house. There's another one of the Grayling guys. Grayling. What's that based on? Like, what is that? Like I said, I'm not, uh, as familiar as I ought to be. With, uh... Nordic culture. So I'm not certain. <laughs> I wonder though. That's a good looking game. Hmm. I really like this. I'm 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 digging this. I'm I'm glad I got this. And I'm glad I've been following it for this time. Yeah. This is the first game coming out this year, really, uh, for me. Because uh, I didn't want to bother with Hitman because I was on the Epic Store and I, I, uh, I got a whole... I could go on a whole big rant if I wanted to. I'm not going to, but not the time nor the place. Um, but that that whole thing really uh, upset and bothered me. But, um, you know. Uh, but this is, so this is sort of the first game 
for me uh, for this for this year. There's a lot coming out this year. You know, you got Hightail, you got Evil Dead the Game, got, uh, well, we were going to have Hogwarts Legacy. Sadly, that had to be moved, but hey, that's okay. Whatever it takes. You know, I'm, I'm completely cool with that. I, I think the, uh, on, on the whole, people are starting to understand why we have to sort of just be cool with delays. I need more wood. I'm probably pretty fast if I want to be indoors by midnight. Or else the witch's curse will take place. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, it, it, I would assume night's probably a threat. Most survival games, night is, like, bad, you know? I'm just punching this. I should probably repair my axe. How do I... Like, how do I, uh... Is there... Uh, no. Not... I know this has, like, repair, but I think that's not for, like, tools. So, yeah, it's, like, for these. Okay, well, uh, three. You feel cold. Well, that would be one threat. Oh, well, I've got a torch. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeing shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Okay. Uh, noted. Duly noted. I need more stone or more wood? Probably more stone. Yeah, more stone. Let's go look for some stone. Oh. It's a chilly night out. Where, where are the stones? Some specific I should be looking for when I'm trying to find these. Still improved run fine. Okay, yeah, I should be running around a little bit to try to improve that skill, huh? I do like it when games have that as, like, a mechanic, you know? Like, you you raise your skill in something by doing that thing. That's how it used to be with Seven Days to Die, and I kind of enjoyed that. I mean, I, I understood why some people had a problem with it. We should just find, like, a little barn. Oh, this, this is just great. Oh, I'm way more comfortable now. Uh... I don't have any way to cook food right now, do I? What is this? P uh, P uh, PvP? No? I'm not playing with anybody, so... I wonder how the multiplayer is. I imagine that's, uh... Interesting. Blocking, jumping, axes, woodcutting, clubs, sneak, unarmed, and run. There's probably more, I would, uh, I would assume. Cause, uh, I would imagine there's, like, bows and stuff, you know? Like, uh, I don't know, boats? Is there water? It's probably, like, water, you know? Can I jump out this way? Can I crouch? Oh, I can. Oh, it's sneaking. Right, yeah, there was a sneak skill mentioned there in the list. You are exposed! No! I'm exposed! T-bang, looks, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Gonna be good for multiplayer when you're, you're you're trolling your friends. Yeah, I got I'm gonna epic prank all these all these noob friends of mine <laughs> that have never played the game before and completely ruin the experience for them. And then I'm gonna teabag because it's hilarious for content. Let's sneak a little. Try to get that skill up. I don't know why I'm talking like an idiot, but yeah, I do. <laughs> I know exactly why. Sneak one, yes. <laughs> All my practice of spinning around in that random abandoned hut really paid off. <laughs> so glad I, I thought to do that. I can't, like, burn this place down by holding a torch into the wall, right? That's not a concern. Okay, that's good. Because that would be pretty annoying, I would imagine. Yeah, that would be annoying. Proceeds to spin around in a circle like a complete maniac. How long is night? Is night as long as day? There's a mushroom out there. I gotta eat the mushroom. But I gotta be real careful such as to not uh, startle any monsters. Gotta sneak around. Gotta be real careful here. Whew. Okay, I was, I, I, I was scary. I was worried there. It's been uh, uh, pretty popular so far, I believe, which is, you know, awesome. I mean, that's, we, uh, we love to see, uh, you know, smaller devs 
getting also wasn't this published by the same people that did goat sim coffee stain isn't that that's the goat sim people right pretty sure that's the goat sim people i don't know yeah sure where, where where's the funny goat from like 2013 where, where is he oh i bet he's glitching out guys <laughs> imagine they just they just really really like forced that cameo on the devs they're like no, please, you have to put our funny goat from 2013 in the game. Oh, that would be awful. Nobody would like that. That would be terrible. <laughs> I would hate that. Might I offer you a torch? Here you go. Here is a torch, because you are epic. I feel like I'm, um, I feel like I'm, like, a kid on New Year's Eve that gets handed, a, like, a sparkler, like, a, you know, a big old sparkler, and, like, he's trying to write out, like, poop, you know, or, like, something funny, you know? He's, like, trying to do the infinity symbol. Oh, dude, oh, check this out. I can do the infinity symbol. Ah, did you see it? Did you see that? Wasn't that cool? And then, and then everybody else is like, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, dude, I, yeah, sure. And the kids are like, you know, like all proud of himself for doing the infinity symbol with the sparkler. I gotta, I gotta find stones. I don't really care if I'm cold. <laughs> Let's try to find some damn rocks. I'm also gonna try not to stray too far away from uh, the base we're trying to build here, because I don't want to get lost. Uh, though there is a map. I, sp I suppose if I got lost, I'd, I'd have to be a little bit, a little bit blind, wouldn't I? I'm really liking this so far. This feels like a very relaxing game. I'm definitely going to play this quite a lot in my own time, I think. Cause, you know, lately, pretty much all I've been doing is, like, uh, checking out Terraria 1.4, because I never got never really got around to that until just now. Just got into hard mode in that. And I've uh, been playing a little bit of LEGO Harry Potter. I'm trying to do my own 100%, just so I can familiarize myself with the levels before I, um... I want to try to speedrun it. I've never done any speedrunning, but, uh... Oh, well, that's, that's another bore. Never done any speedrunning, but uh, seems like a pretty good game to start out with. I'm gonna do like free play, which uh, means I'll have very short uh, runs, and I don't want to sit there for like three hours and then mess up a run, you know? Because I'm, I'm not like a, a speedrunning guy. I just want to check it out. I just want to see what it's like, you know? Seems like such an interesting thing to me. <laughs> I really like the jump. It, it's it, honestly, it's quite realistic. If I'm being perfectly honest, like in games, they always make you do like this silly Mario jump, but it, nobody jumps like that. Nobody, nobody in the whole entire world like sticks a fist in the air and just hovers for a minute. No, you, it's you, you do this. That's how that's how people actually jump. You know, I think that's a bit more um, a bit more honest. Uh, all right. So oh, no, not that hammer. Put the damn hammer away. Uh, and then let's... No, I, I would really like that to be in three, if you could. Thanks. Oh! It is dawn! Oh, that's beautiful. That's a nice skybox right there. That's a very nice skybox. You know, I, I, I tell a lot of games give me the opportunity to talk about how shitty some skyboxes are, but this one... This has got a good-ass skybox. I don't know how long a video this is going to be. Um, I'll probably play for like an hour, hour and a half, edit a bunch out. This is uh, it's probably still like an hour, 45 minutes long or something. Yeah, it's just a nice chill game though. I'm enjoying this. I'm just sort of sitting here talking to you guys. It's uh, February now here. February is uh, typically our snowiest month. Oh, skeleton! Oh, you died. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what happens? Like, do I have to go pick my stuff up? Like, what? What goes on here? How's death? Oh, I'm naked. Oh, no. Um, yeah, sure, let's chat. Each time you are struck down, you will forget a small part of your abilities and drop your belongings at the site of the accident. If you wish you were home by now, I'd recommend building a bed wherever home may be. Okay, there's death marker on the map. This can be a very make or break part of a game if like death is a huge pain in the ass. Like, 
Okay, I can never stand Minecraft sometimes because the danger is just so poorly paced out, you know? So, like, if you fall in love with it, you know, it's all over. And, like, it's, that's a very material, heavy game. And inventory management is a very big part of that. Um, that has got a shield. I don't have a shield. I'm, I'm getting the... F you know, maybe if I hit him with my club... I mean, hold on, let me lure him to where I spawn so I can just keep killing him, <laughs> like, just keep attacking him each time I spawn. This looks awesome, by the way. This is fucking beautiful. Okay, weird comparison, but this... This gives me a similar vibe as Lego Universe, which is, like, one of my favorite games of all time. And I, I guess it's kind of silly, but... Like... I don't know. It's just, like, the nice variant... The, the, you know, the nice uh, variation in colors and the nice particle effects. Which, you know, obviously Lego Universe didn't quite have this. That was in, like, fucking 2012 or 2010 or whatever. You know, way back when. Um, I don't even know why I'm really comparing the two, but because obviously this looks way, way better. But, well, I don't know. I'm just, I'm always trying to get nostalgic about that game. <laughs> like so. Is that... Okay, yeah, that, that aligned correctly. I'm liking this. Quite a lot. Having fun. I really like the music. That's some good music. I wonder who did that. Soundtrack available for purchase? I wonder. Okay, I think we need more wood. I would assume... So yeah, we lose some skills when we die, I guess. Hope I didn't lose any of my sneaking skills. That would be, uh, darn. Well, I can just check, can I? I did lose, like, one or two. Oh, wait, Han, does the red line show where I was before I died? Oh, holy shit, my jump. Eesh. Let's do something about that by just jumping in place. Oh, some resin. I don't know what that's for, but I'm going to take it. <laughs> some branches, too. Can never have too much wood in a game like this. Well, actually, I think it caps at 50. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did, will, will it fill up another slot, or can you only have 50 total? I wonder. Too hard. Okay. I guess uh, birch trees are a bit too much for me. It's understandable. Well, that was quite a quite a fall. <laughs> that was something else, huh? Do some more jumping. Nope. We got another friend here. Is that like a dog? Is there like a wolf out here? Can I get a pet dog? Maybe a pet cat or something? Pet squirrel, huh? <laughs> uh, if only. I do not anticipate that. This game would be probably the first... I guess you could call villagers and Animal Crossing pets, but that, I mean, that feels kind of weird. They're like neighbors. Build a door. Um, yeah, how exactly? Um, do I only need them? Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. That seems a little odd to me, but all right. Hello, welcome to my house. Um, you might notice it doesn't have a roof yet. Oh, it looks a little bit stormy. I'm getting concerned about rain, and I should probably stop digging around and actually build the roof. <laughs> oh, I, I, wouldn't you know, I already ran out of wood. Well, uh, I'll be right back. I have to go chop some more trees. You know, as you do. 
Huh. What is it? Ah, this is another boar. Alright, this boar is... Did the other one attack me, or was I... Yeah, no, it's... it's they're, 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 they're hostile. They're hostile. They've been neutralized. Have at thee! Added beach suit. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I've been crushed by a tree. Anybody remember Brutal Legend? I don't know, I got talked about it a little bit last year. I think it got, uh, like, a, went on, like, a hefty sale or, like, it was uh, available for free for a certain amount of time or something. I think I got it as part of, like, a humble bundle at one point. Never actually got around to playing that, though. Uh, did I have Jack Black? That'd like Jack Black, right? Is that my corpse? Gah! Have I had to thee myself? <laughs> okay, you can't, like, you can't, like, get, like, your own free loot off yourself. Okay. I was, I was just wondering, you know. Some games are like, yeah, no, you can, like, beat up your own corpse and get free clothes. Or whatever, you know. Another grayling out here. Uh, has he got, like, a backpack on? Is that what that... That's gotta be a backpack, yeah? So is the resin, like, in the backpack? Or is that just, like, a part of it? It's a tree creature. I'm... I, now that I see it up close, it's, it's a tree creature. It's not, like, just, like, a little hunched-over dude. Okay. That is... That is good to know. It was just like a like a like a weird generic humanoid sort of a monster. No, it's like a tree guy. I I vibe with that. I like some, me some tree monsters. Uh, they can be pretty freaking cool, you know. Who doesn't like a good int every now and again? Oh, I've gotten a good amount of stone now. Any others around here though? Just so I can. Perhaps grab them in advance, you know? Oh no, but there is another friend here. Should probably be like blocking and stuff, huh? Oh well. I really feel like I should probably just be repairing these, but I don't exactly know how. If I even can. That's, that's sort of just something I've been assuming, perhaps, uh... Well, no, because, I mean, it would just disappear when it broke if, if you couldn't repair it, so... It's probably something you can repair. I just do not know how yet. It's probably once I get the crafting station inside. Something like that. It's another birch tree. I already cut one down. Like, way over here. Um, I'm gonna go back to that one before I, uh, forget all about it. Forget about it. Pick up some more dandelions. Don't know what those are for. Perhaps uh, make some to do with like clothes or dye or paint or something. I don't know. I'm no expert. I should just go back to my death marker because that's uh, I was crushed by that same tree. Here we go. Yeah. This is a good looking game. But, like, it doesn't just go for, like, uh, realistic, uh, everything look like Minecraft shaders. You know, I, I don't like that, that much, like, realism in a game. And, like, there's just tons of light and bloom and god rays, and I think that looks super ugly, personally. I can't stand that sort of, that sort of a look in a game. But, like, this game, this game's got style, you know? It's got actual artistic direction behind it. I'm not saying it's doing like anything crazy new, but it looks good. It works. It's cohesive. Oh. Well, now I just need to cut down another tree and hope it falls on this one again so I can actually get the wood from it. Ah, wouldn't that be ridiculous? I could, though. Let's see, how does blocking go? 
Yes, blocking skill improves. That's dandy. All right, all done with the wood walls. Now we gotta put more floor first, and then like add roof. Oh, you know what we should do? We should do like a nice. Oh, hold on, let me. Uh, I open the door first, of course. Okay. Um, and then... Oh, these guys are smart. They created a symmetrical slope block so you don't have to switch to, like, another type of... Oh, I love that. Thank God. Finally, a fucking developer that understands how that works. Because, <laughs> you know, some games just don't get it. All right, let's uh, add another wood wall, then. Or, is there, like, a window block or something? Not here now. Okay. I was just wondering. Um, but I could do... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I'm about to do something really super smart in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's kind of weird, but I kind of dig it. Not sure if it's going to count as shelter if I do this, but... I mean, it probably does. Well, what? But they worked fine over there. What? What? What's the big problem? Oh, it would collapse there too? No, it wouldn't. Liar. God, but, but it worked. Oh, it's the wrong way. <laughs> That's it. Oh. <laughs> no, but it's still. God damn it. Fuck that. Okay, I'll just get rid of this one and do regular fucking. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for trying to be all clever. <laughs> oh, hell. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, do I, I don't know, like, slope blocks here, so. Okay, I just do that, yeah? So there is, you know, like, structural stability to consider when building in this. It's not just sort of a free-for-all. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, wait. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Uh. What went wrong with that? There we go. Okay. Uh. Then that? Right? Oh, this is great. This is just a... I fucked that one up so bad. That didn't click into place at all. There we go. Oh, what a lovely little... What is that? Oh, that's part of the window. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie daisy. Alright. Around pull fence. We do, like, fences and stuff. Alright, well, uh... Um, let's, um... Put some beams in. Extra stability, you know? Oh, yeah. That's nice. That looks good. Extra strong house. I don't know if they're, like, ever... Like, I don't know if, you're, if a house can be, like, attacked or whatever, but... If it can, I'll be ready. Oh, isn't this awesome? Oh, look at how good this looks. Ooh, I got a great little house going. This is a great starting house. Put the bed right there. Hi. Hi. Um. How you doing? Repair. No. Crafting. I should probably make a cooking station. Oh, and a, and a campfire. Oh, well, hold on. I gotta. Uh. And then. Ah. Into combat. Try to improve our blocking skill a little bit. Attack me. Thank you. I will hit you, I will block you, and I will hit you again. And I have succeeded in this battle. I have, I have emerged victorious. Put a campfire down. Nice. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, we're pretty much out of wood. So. Let's run here. 
You should tell us about how to sleep, I guess. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It is good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, let's claim. Alright. Good stuff. It is actually almost night, so that's good timing. 1 through 8, use item. Well, well, like, use my axe on the fire? Well, what are you talking about? Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Added resin. I guess that's probably good, huh? I'm really liking this game. I'm gonna play this a lot. That is a good first game for this year, you know? Because there's so many coming out, but like... This is great to start with. Of course, you know, I'm, I'm still quite excited for Evil Dead the game, and uh, Hightail, and all them. Just a lot coming, you know? Sons of the Forest, that should be fun. Well, no, it's probably, it's probably gonna be a terrible experience. I'm gonna be shitting myself, but you know. I can't wait for that to come out. Hopefully they still use bump mapping so I can abuse the AI and like hide on a rock and just throw mollies at the mutants, but eh, we shall see. I said they can like ride zip lines and stuff. We're just, ooh, ooh. It's a little bit spooky. But I, I feel like maybe I can use that against them. Where is this tree going? This tree's, uh, less certain of its path in life than I am. Yeesh. <laughs> that's a little bit, that's a little bit of self-deprecating humor for you. That's not even really self-deprecating, I guess. I don't know what you would call it. <laughs> Just a little bit of a personal goofing, we'll call it. Try to get some more blocking training here. Man, I just really like the way this game feels. I will say that animation reminds me a lot of Breath of the Wild. Not a not a, not a not a complaint, but I mean, it's certainly like not the first time a game has had enemies fall into it like and like dissipate into dust either. Um, for that matter, like Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword both did that. Uh, Smash Brothers Brawl also did that. So certainly not, um, not a Breath of the Wild exclusive concept there. Alright, let's get inside and let's sleep. Bed means a nearby fi- What, inside? Indoors? What, what, what are these torches? That ain't enough? Oh, I, 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 hmm. Are you sure? Like, well, okay, what if I put, like, a torch right here? Well, uh, well, yeah. Okay, there's a torch right there. And, um, I don't think it's a good idea to put a campfire inside, man. Oh, like, some video games, they, they use that logic against you. Oh, hold on, let me destroy this one. I'll get some stones back. And then I can, uh, build one inside, right? Oh... Invalid, what are you talking about? Invalid placement. What do you mean, invalid placement? Well, okay, here's my big idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this house officially is just terrible. But if it works, it works. Catch me some Z's. You dream of a river running uphill, of green shoots turning downward into the earth. You feel rested. Comfort four. Good morning. Hey, that's nice. Good morning to you too, Valheim. <laughs> this looks like some sort of a trap. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, a little bit of resin here. Oh, I got a rested status effect. Very nice. Uh, let's see here. 
Oh, that's too funny, man. Am I supposed to put my bed outside or what? Or is, is like, is this the idea? I don't understand. I don't know. What's the deal with fire? <laughs> I don't get it. What's going on? Not trophies. Um, what am I doing? Use. Upgrade. Stone axe? What do you mean? Upgrade. Upgrade stone axe quality to two. What, what, what are the stars? Station level? How do I... Huh? Wood shield. Oh. Wood arrows. Crude bow. Wood tower shield. Huh. Okay. Oh, well, I'm gonna need something like that, huh? Gotta get farming, right? Ah, make a shield too, sure. Seems like a good idea to me. What was that? What's out there? I heard something move. Oh, it's just the bird. This tool is used for landscaping. You could say it's the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It's easier to create buildings on level ground. Oh, you can fuck with the ground. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Oh, hell yeah. We got terrain manipulation in here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where it's at, man. Huh. Oh, Jesus. All right. That's a powerful tool. I've got to be careful with how I use something like this. Oh, why is there wood on the fire? What did I do? What did I destroy? <laughs> what have I done wrong now? Everything looks fine. All right. There's nothing missing, as far as I can tell. But if there was, would I even really know? Would I? Would I? I, don't, I don't think I would. I wish I could just straight up, like, raise it and lower it, you know? Like, I would love to be able to just raise this until it sort of made more sense, but... Instead, I can only level it. I don't know. But let's, uh, yeah, let's a little bit of like farmland is there anything more required of me with this does this take stamina it does yes okay oh i see pathin what do you mean pathin like make a path okay neat Yes. Strike me. Strike me. Strike me down, coward. Don't you walk away from me. We're not done yet. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> they always do like this little silly walk around to try and evade me a little bit. It's very funny. Yeah. All right. Another battle well fought. I gotta imagine this would be pretty fun with friends, you know? I'm enjoying it as it is, but I wonder what it would be like with friends. Oh, yeah, I gotta eat. Oh, 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 no, I have to eat more berries. I must eat copious amounts of berries. Oh, I will have as many as I please. <laughs> Just eat like 50 berries on your first day here. That'd be just swell. That would be quite amusing. Let's, uh, let's go chop down some more trees. Huh? Get rid of uh, some of this wood we left laying around here. Some of these logs. Added feathers. Okay. Holy sh... It. You know, I saw it happening. I was like, oh god, I gotta start moving. I was holding A&S, but I was locked into swinging my axe. So I just... I just fucking got crushed, man. I just got fucking crushed. Hell. Figures. Good morning, world. Ah, oh, gotta go back and grab my stuff. Gotta get my loot back, guys. Uh, 
I haven't recorded anything in a while. I think I'm just hyperactive. I'm just that's what I'm doing, like the funny YouTuber voice here. Jesus. <laughs> oh no. Okay, uh that's our stuff back. And equip our rag tunic. Yes. Protect us from the elements. I gotta like combine these, yeah? Okay, so we can't have like multiple stacks of things. That's that's good, that makes sense. Um, yeah, let's keep, uh, chopping away. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've died to logs more than anything else. I... Can I drop these? Can I just get rid of them? I can! That's pretty swell. Alright. No more stones. Where we get more stones? Gotta keep looking for rocks. Out here in these forests. In these woods. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, no, 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 get back here, no, 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 get out of here, you little, come back here, I'm not done with you, yes, that's what you get for messing with me, you get a taste of your own medicine, that's what, I shall punch through this wood. Voila. That bad guy here? Where is he? There he is. It's a critical hit. Incredible. This guy's real scary, huh? Real scary monster right here. Terrifying. I'm I'm shaking. I'm so scared. Alright, I've had enough of you. Nice. Very nice. What choppity choppity chop here? You gotta collect more wood. To 15 with wood cutting. That's pretty good. Going pretty smooth. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Please don't crush me. I would really appreciate it if you didn't crush me right now. Ah, god damn it, I was just saying don't crush me. God fucking damn it, dude. <laughs> I've tacked into the trees three times. <laughs> That's three deaths to the trees. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not good. That's not good. My skills are probably tanking. Probably hitting the fucking floor right about now. Uh, where is it? It is here. That's what I thought. <laughs> it rests ash. God damn it, dude. Hey, whoa, hey, why? Tell your log friend to step off, buddy. We're cutting up to 16. Good, good. Let's increase our sneaking a little real quick. I want to have that ready, just in case I need it, you know? Don't want to be, you know, uh, caught with your sneak down, so to speak. Follow my moves and sneak around. What a cute house. What a cozy little home. Anything we gotta do? What do we got here? Hey, we got seeds. We can go plant seeds. In the, like the ground, right? What do we got? Where are the seeds? So we picked up seeds at some point, I think. 
these? Oh, these are grow trees. I see. On on what do you mean on what? The the, the ground. Use them on the ground. What? How how do I split a stack? Is that how it works? I don't think that's how it works. Plant them. I'd like to. Uh, build menu? I do not know what I'm doing, huh? I'm a little bit confused here. Carrying too much. What? Oh, hell. Not encumberment. Oh, God, dude. I hate encumberment. I don't want to manage weight. I already have to manage, like, an inventory. Oh, man. Encumberment? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, uh. That's a. Uh, Damn shame! I hate when they do that. Uh, I don't. I don't know what to get rid of. Uh, well, let's try to uh, uh, drop the meat. All right. We'll go in the house. We'll build a chest. Yeah. Then we'll. Uh, I'll put some wood in there. <laughs> I've been locked out of my own house. There we go. I'm gonna need more space pretty soon. For now, I'll just put this thing here. Which way should it face? Probably this way. Chest. Okay. 50. And, uh, 24. Okay. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, so these uh, bones, those bones, bone fragments. Yeah, throw that in there. So yeah, how do you uh, how do you plant these uh, tree seeds? So um, I, yeah, I can tell that like the fork bar. That's obviously like the hunger thing, right? But like, is that is the one next to it? Is that my health? Thirty-one out of like uh, what a hundred? Is that what's going on here? If I can't eat more raspberries, can I eat more anything? One through eight, uh, seven. Can you speech seeds on fire? Okay, well, that does make sense. I was wondering if maybe I could roast it. You can't use raw meat on fire? Uh, what was this thing do then, huh? Oh, there's a cooking station, ain't there? Why don't I just, uh, make one of those? Cook item. A lit fire under... That does make sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright. Is there room? There is room. Okay. <laughs> this is so goofy looking. I have no idea what they expect from me, but... This is what they're getting. Cook item. Oh! How did they know I wanted to put the meat on there? Hmm. Alright. This, uh, this stance is very similar to, um, when I'm sitting in my com in my computer, doing a, gr like a, like, uh, like my computer gaming chair. It's like a CEO's ergonomic chair. It's a very nice chair. It's quite comfortable. Um, are they ready? I don't, is that what that meant? I don't, I don't know what cooked meat looks like. I don't, is this... He's ready. Somebody there? Heard a rustling. There we go. That's probably that's coal. <laughs> that's fucking coal. That's not meat. <laughs> I was I was like, oh hey, that looks pretty fucked up. Let me get the other one before he finishes. <laughs> I did not pull that off in time. Oh, all right. So yeah, it's that first, that's when they're ready. 
Hey, we got some coal. I mean, that's kind of good, right? Hey, I can see into my house from here. <laughs> Just <laughs> every time. I like that. But yeah, uh, this is a this is this pose is just me when I'm like sitting in my chair, funny. Where I've, like you know I'm doing like a, you know, like, uh, I've got like my uh, legs in front of me, you know, like I'm sitting with my legs in like in front of my torso, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm like you know I'm, I got my arms out and I'll be like yeah you have to choose hero, you know I'll do like a Green Goblin impression. Uh, why am I telling you this? All right, let's. Let's take a little nap, Beepu, and uh, get us some rest. Get us some Z's. Once again, you run at the head of your warriors, the weight of your father's axe in your hand. You wake with the war cry on your lips. All right. Uh, eat that. Yeah. That's good. Gotta restore our health. Look at this place. This is beautiful. Do I heal when near fire? Is that what's going on? And if I go inside, will I heal faster? Or like what's? How does this work? Resting. Sit down. Ah. I must lament my position here, my current status, this cruel nature, in this. Brutal world. You ever think about the fact that Waluigi and Wario are canonically not related to Mario and Luigi? Weird stuff. Very weird. Hmm. Hey, look at all that stamina. Oh, yowza. I do all sorts of stuff now. Look how many jumps I can do. It's incredible. What should I be doing? Should I be like, exploring? Should probably be like exploring around, looking for stuff, huh? That's not like a good plan to me. Just head really far out here, huh? Start getting this map all developed and everything. What's this? This looks long. Long ages passed when the All-Father Odin united the worlds. He threw down the veneer, the giants, and those creatures older than any others. The greatest of them... Okay. Um, the greatest of them could not be killed, but were instead forsaken, exiled here to Valheim for eternity. When they tread the earth, the lesser creatures jump like crumbs on a drum skin. You will know them when you see them. Okay, so there's like, a. Uh... Uh, ancient creatures that Odin vanish or uh, banished to, to to this realm. Is Valheim is Valheim like a like a thing in Norse mythology? Because there's typically like nine realms, nine worlds, right? Is there ever a tenth? Is this like based on something, or is that uh, sort of where they take their artistic liberties? You know, I wonder. Gotta get more stones. Gotta pick up all these stones. Before you know it, I'll be building a stone house. Is that a thing? Can you build stone houses? That'd be nice. I'd like that. Ah, it's beautiful. No. Oh. It's getting ugly now, huh? We got him. Bore trophy, okay. Oh, it looks like we found another structure right out here. I was just running around. Looks a little bit similar to the other one. What do we got going on here? 
It's possible to find like loot in these. I wonder what the prefab variation is like. Oh, this one's got a door. I don't think the other one had that. Very nice. Can I destroy everything here and just take the materials? I think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. Okay. That's interesting. I don't think I will, but I will, I will remember that. Black forest? Uh, oh, what? Where am I? What is this? You explain. You've wandered into the black forest. This place can be very dangerous for those unprepared for it. Prove your worth by slaying Aether. No, no, I, I don't. Oh, it's like red and shit. Oh, well, that's probably just because the sun is setting. But there's a prefab. There's a prefab. I'll be leaving now. I'll be leaving now. I'll be leaving now. I'll be leaving now. <laughs> my house is so far. I would hate to have to travel all this way again. Oh, God, my stamina. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not even going the right direction. Ah, oh, what's that? What's that prefab? <laughs> what? Ah, there's a boar! Ah, I'm running straight into him. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I'm being chased by the boar now! Oh, I don't have any stamina, man. Oh, shit. Oh, this ain't going too well, chief. I'm gonna eat some berries. Oh, there's so many fucking enemies here, dude. <laughs> How could I possibly win this? Right, run, 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 Oh, shit, we're getting the fuck out of here. We're getting the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> there's no fucking way I'm staying here. Oh, I mean, if I run away long enough, maybe I can just sort of heal, you know? Because I've been healing a little tiny bit at a time. Can always just sort of keep blocking. Yeah, I got your friends, didn't I, huh, buddy? Yeah, I've defeated them. Gray Dwarf Eye, huh? Sick. Alright, well that went pretty damn well. More flowers. That was exciting. <gasps> I can barely keep running. Oh, more berries. How delightful. More elderberries. They're actually raspberries. But I just like saying elderberries. It's very funny. Elderberries. The immunity berry. If anybody gets that, um, huge props to anybody who does. Because that's a, well, that's... That's a bit of a, a bit of a, an obscure one. I suppose you could just look it up and pretend like you knew what you were talking about. But if you got it from the very start, then you know, props to you. In the immunity, Betty. More mushrooms. <gasps> a chest. Feathers and amber. All right, sick. That's good stuff. All right, I was right here. I probably walked right by that. That was silly of me. I wonder if I've uh, missed any other prefabs. 
Probably. I think once, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, once I get back home, we'll probably uh, wrap things up for now. I'll probably play on my own time, so uh, if, if I come back to this on the channel, um, you know, I, I might not exactly be this early on. I apologize for that, but... I don't know, maybe I'll just keep recording when next I play this. But I'll probably play it a little more tonight if I'm being perfectly honest. I just don't want a super long video. Let's do some resting. It's not even night yet, but why not? You stand at the prow of a leaping ship, the salt spray before you, and the joyful shrieks of, and the joyful shriek of gulls above. Folded within a drill. Uh, okay. Yeah, some about feeling alive. Uh, beginning of Spider-Man PS4. I'm alive. Oh, uh, you see, now it is night. Probably getting towards morning, though. Probably fine. Okay. Let's have a little sit down here. So, that was adventurous, huh? <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game. I like this. I like being in this world. It's very fun. I look forward to being in it some more. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm going to be doing next, um, I'm, I, I'm in the process of writing video. It's just a, you know, quick, simple little video, but it's a, it's a high tail wish list about things I hope to see in that game. When that hopefully comes out this year. And, uh, then I'll probably do another Evil Dead the Game video. Maybe some more Hogwarts Legacy at some point. A little bit of Sons of the Forest. I'd love to do some trailer analysis for that. That'd be, that'd be fun. I feel like I've got a lot to say there. But, uh, yeah, you know. And I'll probably uh, maybe see some more of this. Uh, I did some gameplay of uh, an old Evil Dead game. I'm probably going to edit down. But yeah. So, you know, that's, that's probably what you'll see in the near future. Still in the process of trying to get my new setup all finished and everything. So, still going to be a little bit slow for a little while, guys. And I'm sorry about that. Um, but, you know, uh, to anybody sticking out, you know, sticking it out with me, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, um... Uh, it's it, it means a lot that you guys come here and watch my dumb content <laughs> like it You know, it's it, it seems goofy to me that anybody would come out here just to You know watch me goof off and like talk about games that aren't out yet and you know like play this Viking game or whatever You know like it, it it's it's strange to think about but I appreciate it and thank you for uh, watching You know, that's why I guess I could have just said thank you for watching don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. All that. Uh, who cares about favoriting? <laughs> don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Because if you don't favorite, <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna know somehow. If you don't add me to your favorites playlist, <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset with you. <laughs> I don't care. But uh, you know, if you like or dislike the video, you know, leave a uh, leave a rating. I'm okay with dislikes, you know. If you didn't like this video, let me know. I wanna know. Cause like, you know, I can always try new stuff and mess around with various types of content and various games and whatnot, you know? And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you're all doing well. I, will, uh, I hope you keep doing well and I'll catch you on the flip flop.